Hi guys, so for your weather report, now this is a different part of the project. It's kind of think of it as a separate project from your brochure. Now my brochure is about blizzards. My weather report is going to be connected to that same kind of weather. So my weather report will be reporting on a super snowy, stormy day, a blizzard, and I'm choosing to talk about Stockholm, Sweden, where my class was, was recording our weather. You can be creative. You can decide a different place, somewhere that's realistic, though, that would have the kind of weather that you will be reporting on. In order to properly plan and organize yourself, you do need to write out a step-by-step -step kind of what you want. And for me, it was easier to have it on paper. So I took and wrote out my weather report on paper. I also had it on a Google slide. So you'll see in my weather report, I have that there. I also wanted to tell people how to prepare. So I have a, a graphic I found on the internet and it shows how to prepare for a winter storm for the emergency kit. And then you'll see, I just had a little bit of fun. This part of the project, the weather report should not take you as much time as the brochure. The brochure, think of the brochure as probably 85% of your time for this whole project. And the weather report should maybe be about 15. It's kind of a fun cherry on top component. So don't overthink or overdo the weather report at the expense of your brochure. Your brochure is really what we're looking for your craftsmanship and your quality. Your weather report is to have a little fun, get in front of the camera, do some presentation, and enjoy sharing your information and your knowledge about the natural hazard that you studied and the weather that you learned about. All right, kind of center yourself and think about Megan Perry. Think about some different examples of weather reports you've seen from meteorologists on TV, and just have fun and do your best. Okay, so you will want to kind of write out what you want to say. For me, I used my, my camera on my laptop and I just kept my notes right under my camera. So you can't see them on the camera, but it's like my very own, uh, no, I can't remember what that's called, but you know where I can read the words, uh, my teleprompter. So it's like my very own teleprompter. You can handwrite it. You don't have to type it or print it. And if you want, I used some digital pictures and put it on a Google slide. You can split your screen and you can have your camera if you can figure that out. If not, you could put a poster behind you. You could go outside and do it. You can play around with it. Have fun, be creative, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.